Time is again running out with another government shutdown looming at the center of the negotiations, the southern border. Caroline Shively has more from Washington. The countdown to a shutdown has begun in Washington. If Congress can't cut a deal by January 19th, 20% of the federal government will close, with the rest running out of money on February 2nd. The stakes are very high for the country, and everybody knows that. If there's no deal by the end of next week, Food and Drug Safety Services, some veterans' assistance, and the Department of Transportation will shut down. We are all working nonstop right now to get this done, but we are obviously crunched for time. Top lawmakers in the House and Senate announced a tentative $1.66 trillion agreement over the weekend. But hard right conservative Republicans in the House are demanding more budget cuts and a border deal. Either shut the border down or, or take the consequences. Democrats are pushing back. They are MAGA radicals, extremists, whose benchmark for success is paralysis, gridlock, chaos. But neither side can do it alone. In the Senate, each appropriation bill needs the support of at least 60 members. In the House, Republicans only have a two-seat operational majority, and they're split about what to do next. Frankly, some people are, you know, they're not going to be happy with anything. If the government does shut down, defense and other essential operations will continue. But the government workers who have to stay on the job to do them won't get paid until Congress cuts a deal. In Washington, Caroline Shively, Fox 32, Chicago.